Hey everyone, it's Jessica Hayes. Today I'm just going to be doing a chatty get ready with me. I have a lot of stuff to talk to you guys about and it's been a while since I've done one of these videos. So I'm just going to be getting ready for a, a pretty normal day. I'm just going to go get tattooed today. So nothing too crazy with my makeup, but I did just get back from Australia and it was amazing, but I'm so jet lagged. I haven't slept properly in like nine days. So yeah, it's been pretty brutal. I'm probably just gonna do the look that I did a lot in Australia, which was not very much, but definitely, obviously Australia and even here when it's gloomy out, I always wear SPF. Uh, this is the Supergroup City Serum. I've been using it for a long time as my moisturizer and sunscreen. And basically when I was there, I just did like spot concealing. I'm trying not to wear much foundation right now, so just trying to give my skin a break. Anyways, Australia was incredible. Uh, we did a lot of not much. Um, my mom <clears throat> lives really close to the beach now, uh, so we just went to the beach, went swimming, went on nice beach walks around the headland in the morning and we also went and got a lot of coffee and pretty much every single day revolved around food. I had a bunch of restaurants that I wanted to try that I saw on Happy Cow. So pretty much the, the day revolved around what restaurants we were going to try. It was really cool though. I went and saw Jay Mascus, the guy from Dinosaur Junior, his solo show with my dad and Maddie, and that was really cool. But we weren't there for very long, just uh, 10 days. It was supposed to be 10 nights, but Virgin Australia did us a royal screw over and we got, we missed our flight due to uh, the internet and also the flight attendant and also the ground staff telling us that our flight for Australia left from the wrong terminal. So we ended up uh, missing our flight to Australia, which was so freaking annoying. It like pains me to talk about it now. I just, I hate even bringing it up. But yeah, we got stuck at LA terminal for like nine hours. Um, and then our flight that was going to be 13 hours to Brisbane ended up being like 16 hours to Melbourne and then to Brisbane. So I flew over my hometown to get home. It was just, it was stupid, but it is what it is. I didn't do a lot of makeup the whole time that we were there because we hung around Burley for the most part, which is a really uh, beachy kind of town. I can't find my Milk Fair concealer for the life of me. So I am just gonna go ahead and use a little bit of this uh, Hourglass Vanish foundation in the shade porcelain and just kind of dab that over the areas where I've got a lot of redness and nice new pigmentation from being close to the equator again. So yeah, Australia was incredible. I got to hang out with some of my old friends from a while back, um, but we weren't there for very long. So it was, it was a, it was a quick but nice trip. Anyways, uh, other things that are going on right now, I have um, my giveaway that I usually do about once a year. Uh, I have a big giveaway. Oh, this foundation looks looking nice. Um, I have a big giveaway on my channel, on my Instagram right now, and it is going to be to benefit Barn Sanctuary. So they have so many cute little rescues right now. They rescued two baby pigs, Anna and Elsa. So it's been really cold in the Midwest in the last few months. And these two little pigs got uh, frozen stuck to the side of their transport truck. Um, so luckily the guy that cleans the trucks out called for help for Barn Sanctuary and then they were rescued. And now they are living a happy little life at Barn Sanctuary. And they're so, teeny tiny, I can't wait to play with them. They're still, the last time that I was there, they were still in quarantine, so I wasn't allowed to like go into their pens. Um, but 
we're going there again on Monday so hopefully they will be allowed to play because I've never held a baby piglet before and I want to so bad they're so so cute their little squeaks uh, but yeah so the giveaway is benefiting Barn Sanctuary and basically it's a ton of stuff a lot of stuff that was donated to me from brands that I work with that I reached out to and asked if they would donate stuff specifically for this competition and then just uh, some stuff that I have that is mine I've added to the to the contest as well so there's a lot of products in that uh, I'd say probably over a hundred items in the giveaway it's pretty big so all you have to do to enter it is donate any amount whatever you can afford to Barn Sanctuary and then send me a screenshot of your DM for the entry and that's it easy peasy so that is ending on the 30th of March so make sure you jump on that as soon as you can I basically I'm not gonna say basically I haven't cleaned any of my brushes since I got back home so don't judge me um, I'm going to probably just use this color Frank all over the eye from wing me wing me have actually donated all of their eyeshadows for the giveaway as well and then I'm going to add this color bash to the crease of the eye just for a little bit of darkness they're both just nice warm like a, a light warm and a medium warm I always hate doing these kinds of videos because I've done them before and when I go to edit them I just am like nope delete because I feel like my train of thought is like a squirrel I end up on so many different subjects and these videos don't really make much sense but hopefully my uh, nine days of no sleep jet lagged brain isn't too crazy for you guys today so I'm not doing a, uh, a primer these shadows obviously are quite pigmented and stay on pretty well without a primer so you could definitely do a primer if you cared enough but basically I'm probably only going to be out for like four hours today and I don't need my makeup to last a, a marathon another thing that I wanted to touch base on with you guys is something that I have started to add to my uh, my Instagram stories lately I did get this idea from Samantha she started to she put out a video saying that she was saying no to PR and I thought that is the greatest idea ever on the scale that she's at I can't even imagine the PR packages that she gets it's it's hard to talk about it without sounding like a total brat being you know ungrateful for the products that you get sent basically as you guys know as an influencer companies do send out quite a lot of stuff uh, for PR which is awesome and it's enables me to be able to do giveaways and such like I am but the thing that really bums me out the most about it is the package wasting that goes wastage that goes along with it I am more than happy to receive products obviously who wouldn't be but the packaging that goes along with it is just insane um, we have a 35 gallon recycle bin outside and sometimes there will be weeks where it will be completely full just of boxes like I have received you know a box this big a cardboard box with another like fancy influencer PR box inside of it with all this foam and like stuff and it will be encasing one mascara I personally am not saying no to all of the brands that I'm sponsored by because now that I only use cruelty free and vegan makeup I'm not really sponsored by that many brands anymore but I have been reaching out to brands that are super excessive with their with their packaging and all of the product that they give out and just asking them to be a little more mindful of the packaging that they send out uh, what I've done is I've I've constructed an email that's basically like hey like you know 
very grateful for everything that has ever been sent to me. Um, you know, I'm trying to m minimize the wastage that I have in my household and I'm hoping that you can send out products in more of a minimal pack packaging style and if that's not an option, then I politely decline to be on the PR list. And that's basically to companies that send these like obscene, huge, wasteful PR packages just for a few items or even companies that send out like their whole new launch, even though they have new launches every month or something. Um, so that's kind of the steps that I'm taking right now, which I have only emailed four companies so, so far. Uh, I haven't been receiving a lot of PR lately, but none of those companies unfortunately have written back to me. So I don't know if I'm really going to be making waves with taking a stand of having a little less packaging with PR drops or PR gifting. Um, but hopefully once Samantha's done it and she's inspired a bunch of other people to do it and you know, now I'm emailing companies uh, and if a bunch of other people do do it, like I'm such a small fry in this massive influencer scale, but I'm sure once maybe they get like five emails from different influencers of different sizes and scales, then maybe we can make a difference. So if you are an influencer yourself and you are interested in doing that, uh, hit me up on Instagram DMs and I can show you the email that I have been sending to these companies. It's really nice and appreciative and suggestive to create a little bit less wastage. Hopefully it can make a little bit of a difference. If not, I know personally I'm not creating as much waste by saying no to a few certain brands that have been quite excessive with packaging and PR. When I first started receiving packages, it was so like fun and cool to, by the way, I love this Makeup Geek Sunkissed Bronzer. It was really cool to be able to receive these packages. Like I remember the first time that I ever got one that had uh, a TV screen in it. Um, and that was just, that kind of just blew my mind. My first one that I got was from Marc Jacobs. And I just couldn't believe, like I kept it for so long and then I just recently, a few months ago, cleaning out my room, obviously I'm not gonna hold onto it forever. What am I going to do, sit there and watch it? I threw it out and I didn't even know like what was the recycling or like where do you throw a TV screen into the trash? Does it have batteries in it? Can you even throw a TV screen into the trash? I haven't received a lot of TV screens in PR packaging, but that's just one example. Another example is one brand that um, they're cruelty free, they're not a vegan brand, but they have agreed to only send me the vegan uh, launches of PR stuff. And they sent it through with like a bunch of feathers in the packaging. It was one mascara, this big bird cage and it was stuffed with feathers and I'm like what the hell am I going to do with a goddamn bird cage and a bunch of feathers so that was another brand that I touched base with the the wastage situation and just kind of that was one brand that I said no thank you to any more PR and unfortunately they didn't respond, but I'm gonna pop some freck on to make this foundation look a little more natural. I was definitely going for more of a natural look today, but I think this foundation is a little more of a medium coverage or I probably just applied too much. I, I'm kind of out of practice. I haven't, um, the first six days that I was home, I didn't wear makeup at all and I haven't been wearing foundation to work either. So just mascara and like a little bit of lip balm and that's it. 
I don't know, I just haven't been feeling it lately. I don't know what's what's going on. Oh well, I know what's going on. I'm jet lagged as hell and just can't be bothered getting out of bed 20 minutes earlier to bother to put makeup on. This Milk Lip and Cheek, I've been using this so much. I use this every single day when I was on holidays in Australia. Uh, just buffed it all over the cheeks and then buffed it on my lips as well. And that was pretty much the makeup that I wore. I just used Milk Concealer just under the eyes. A little bit of spot treat treatments on any like redness or pimples that I had. A little bit of this on the cheeks and then I also just smeared it on my lips as well it's really nice and really easy and I feel like I've only used a, a small slope of that I feel like this is gonna last me a long ass time what else did I want to talk about oh yes me and my friend Sarah are going to go get tattooed today by one of my favorite tattoo artists Dawn Cook she's on Instagram as pretty tough tattoos and a lot of people around the area ask me uh, who is a vegan tattoo artist around the area um, so she actually is a vegan tattoo artist so if you're in the Detroit area make sure you check her out she has her own shop in Hamtramck called Harlequin Tattoos see how pretty that blush is and then I just mm, like this on the lips donezo oh this is one thing that i used for the first time when i was in australia is this wet and wild mega last liquid cat suit high shine lipstick i did it's kind of it's kind of a similar color to what i have on now but just a little more violety i thought that these lips lipsticks were um liquid mattes so I was pleasantly surprised when I put it on and it was actually a gloss. The other day I watched a documentary on Netflix called Stink. It's not new, it's actually quite, it's been around since 2015. And oh my gosh, I feel like if you guys have ever seen it before, let me know in the comments below what you thought of it. And if you ended up changing anything in your life or routine uh kush brow gel every day as well um as soon as i finished on stink i went on to sephora and started googling their clean beauty um i'm going to try to transition to more of a clean uh skincare routine and a clean foundation as well um, I'm not I'm not quite ready to give up on all of my lipsticks and every, all of the fun color stuff but I'm definitely going to start making changes on what I like the majority of what I put on my skin so you know I'm wearing foundation all over my face almost every day so just making sure that that's not like super nasty on my skin making sure that it doesn't have all of the um bad things i don't even want know what they're called flat flatates or something plate oh, i don't know but basically that was a documentary like we all do with so many things especially with veganism and eating meat is i knew that i was i should have watched it but I just didn't want to watch it because I was like, as soon as I watch this, I'm going to have to make changes with things in my life. Um, and it definitely was like that. Uh, luckily, because we do cruelty-free and vegan household products, most of our products that we already had that we use for cleaning were already pretty natural and that wasn't a huge shock to us. We had already transitioned to that. Um, but definitely uh, skincare and makeup and stuff will be something that I will be uh, unwrapping the blindfold from my eyes and being a little more conscious about what I put on my skin. I'm not going to start, by all means, this isn't going to become like a clean beauty channel 
I don't think I'll ever get that far, but now that I've already honed in all of my makeup to being cruelty free and vegan, I feel like it will be an easier transition to, you know, segue into getting a little more clean makeup or at least foundation and skincare for now. I think that when you do it all at once, it's very overwhelming, say, you become vegan overnight and then all of a sudden you've got to go from changing all of your makeup products to being cruelty free and also vegan. That's just, it's a huge task to do. Uh, but now that I've already done that, I feel like I can start to actually read the ingredients that are in my makeup, what I'm putting on my face every day. That's always been something that I'm just like, ugh, I'll get to that one day. I'll bother with that one day and now my eyes have been opened they can't be shut but basically for any of you that haven't watched stink before it's about all of the chemicals that they are allowed to put in our like fragrances in our mattresses in our couches uh, in any of our cleaning and bath and makeup and cosmetic products uh, basically there's like this loophole with the law that they can title anything with the name fragrance and it can be a multitude of thousands of different chemicals which aren't FDA approved and a lot of them are carcinogens or just like straight up just poison so yeah so winter's nearly over and I'm so over the cold it was lovely being in Australia just being able to walk out of the house basically wearing whatever you wanted and minimal clothing but also seeing like people out walking and being active and being healthy and not being little hermits stuck inside ordering vegan junk food on DoorDash and like Netflix binging, which is exactly what I did when I got home. I was so excited to see everyone active and like feeling super inspired to work out. And the minute that I got home, my ass was glued to my couch, watching Netflix and ordering DoorDash, being a total hermit. Anyways, I think that's uh, good enough for now. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna leave this pinky lip even though it's not matching the gloomy gray day that's out there. Those were the, th the three main things that I wanted to talk to you about. My giveaway, uh, trying to be minimal with packaging and getting people, other influencers on board with that as well. If you are an influencer and you are kind of fed up with the massive amounts of waste that you're getting with PR, I do encourage you to send a really nice email out to those companies that we're lucky enough to be sponsored by, just letting them know that you appreciate the products. It would be nice for some brands to be a little more aware of all of the wastefulness that they're putting out there. And I don't just mean with packaging too. I did post about, I received a few weeks, I received a massive shade range of 20 different concealers from one brand and then as I was doing the posts about all the wastefulness I had unwrapped another package from another brand that was every single shade of concealer none of which matched me and every single shade of foundation none of which matched me either um, so for me I am a professional makeup artist and sometimes all of these foundations can be fantastic for my kit and I guess that's probably good for the brand too because I'll use them in my kit and then my client will be like, oh, what is this? But when you think about it, I'd love to know on a percentage of how many influencers actually are working makeup artists and can use that whole foundation range. For me, uh, I have, I stock about three different foundations in my kit and I have the brands and the products that I know I love and trust. Sometimes I add new things to my kit, but I'm pretty much all set with that now, especially if I can't try the foundation myself. I won't use it on my clients or put it into my kit. So that's another thing um, that I wanted to kind of talk about was 
brands sending out their entire product range when for the most part we're probably only going to use two or three products from that entire launch or from that entire shade selection uh, so just I mean it would be cheaper for the brands to just send out a few instead I did receive from one package from one brand that was 20 of their concealers and then I also received another package from another brand that had three of the shades that they thought would match me in their new foundation launch um, and there was also a nice little note that said we have selected three these three shades for you we feel like they will match you if you don't think they do please email so and so and we will get the correct shade out to you so that's less wastefulness with packaging because they're not boxing up 30 different foundation shades it's less waste for the brand as well and it's just kind of for the environment basically a lot of people have suggested that i do give away all of these foundations to women's shelters and that's exactly what i do there is a women's shelter in detroit that i do donate all of these products to because basically they only take foundations, concealers, and more like neutral colored uh, makeup products. So that is exactly what I do with them. But like I was saying, if you are an influencer and you want to get on board with this, DM me and I can send you like a, 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 a copy of the email that I've sending, been sending out so that you can get an idea of what to say or create your own. Um, but yeah, I think it would be a cool initiative to push forward to these brands. I think we're all heading in that direction where we're a little bit more concerned about the environmental impact that we're having on this world. So, uh, I can't really think of anything else to say. I'll probably insert some cute little pictures and videos of all of the new babies at the barn that I'm going to see this Monday, but this video drops on Wednesday. So I'm gonna pop them right here for you. If you do wanna to donate to the Barn Sanctuary giveaway, check out my Instagram for details. I will leave the link to that post in the description box as well. So that's it guys, I'm going to stop rambling. Um, probably shouldn't have done this video when I'm so tired and jet lagged because it's probably gonna be even more rambly than normal. But as always, I hope you have enjoyed this. Thanks for tuning in and have an awesome day.